promise that God has released over your life. It does not matter. Nobody can stop the promises of God on you. You see, planning, God gives them opportunity to plan to destroy you. But no plan of the enemy can destroy you. They may frustrate you, harass you, abuse you, confuse you. But let me tell you the truth. The plans of God concerning your life have to come to pass. Yes. Jeremiah 29, 11, a scripture that has always been projected. It says, for I know, for I know. Who knows? Who knows? God is saying, for I know the thoughts. The thoughts that I have towards you. Look, says the Lord, there are thoughts of what? Peace. Somebody say peace. peace. Somebody just say shalom. shalom. Say peace. peace. Not of evil. No. So every evil plan is not of God. Amen. To give you an expected end. Amen. I tell you my friends, it doesn't matter how it looks like in your situation right now. Your end is an expected end. Amen. This brings me to a message of my heart. For us to walk in victory, friends, for our life never to remain the same again, we will need to know our identity. Hello? And I believe that over time I've shared this, but it doesn't matter to repeat a bit. Your identity. A very important thing. Uh, Ecclesiastes 10, 7. Could you project it? Ten. 10 verse 7. This is not your portion, friends. So listen. I have seen what? Servants. Is somebody reading for me? one does not know their identity they will be misused look I have seen servants upon horses the servants are the ones supposed to be walking down the princess are the ones supposed to be on the horse this situation is being reversed in your life Amen. where you have been walking down and you are supposed to be riding on top I declare reversal in Jesus name Oh, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, just somebody say reversal. Reversal. Somebody say reversal. Reversal. Say reversal. Reversal. Just tell your neighbor things are reversing in your life. Things are reversing. Things are reversing. Just shake the other neighbor. Shake them. Tell them things are reversing in your life. So we are saying you need to understand what? Your identity. Yes. Who are you? If you don't know who you are, then you can be tossed down. They can, they, the guys can tell you you have to walk on foot because you don't know you are a prince. But if you know you are a prince, you will tell what? You will tell the guy, no, this is not my position. My position is up. Where you have been walking, lower than what God has ordained for you. Today, there is a reversal. Yeah. Oh, just stand up and say, Father, I thank you for the reversal. Father, I thank you for the reversal. Say, thank you for the reversal. 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 In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be seated. Amen. Your victory is tied to the fact that you know your identity. You have been redeemed. Yeah? 
Yes. Amen. You have been redeemed. Amen. Friends, these are truths that you engrave in your heart. Nobody will shake you. Amen. To be redeemed is to be bought with a price. Yes. And therefore nobody can decide to throw you out of the bus. You have been redeemed. The moment, the moment you confessed Christ as your Lord and Savior, he, he took you in, and that is a settled issue. Amen. You've not only been redeemed, but you have now been declared you are a son in the kingdom. Hello? Yes. And therefore, if you are a son, you have legitimacy to the inheritance. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Therefore, everything that is God's, all things that are God's, are yours. Yes. Amen. The elder, the elder brother said to the father, he told the father in the story of the prodigal son, how come you never prepared anything for me? How come, how come that uh, this younger son has come and is the one you are preparing this for? The father told him, everything that is mine is yours. Friends, God has already provided many things. <laughs> Whether it be forgiveness of sins. Whether it be victory. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Now, you have been redeemed. You are a son of God. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You are seated with Christ. When you know your position, nobody, nobody, nobody will harass you. Amen. And a, another thing I want you to understand, friends, is that all these things, even our redemption, even our acceptance, even our sitting, all these things were done by Christ. Amen. We should never forget, never, never think, never think for a jot even in your mind that it is because of your goodness. We have read in Isaiah, in Isaiah that our own righteousness is like filthy rags. But it's here. And I think I should, I should just quote this scripture because I love it. 1 Corinthians 5.21 We have to understand that it is not by works because people would be boasting. People would say it is because of the offering I gave that I got saved, it's because of the many days of prayer, many days of fasting. But friends, it is all because of Christ. When he said on the cross, it is finished, it meant everything is finished. Hello? He did not, he did not, he did not, uh, he did not, he did not finish a few things and leave others. He finished what? Eh? Did he finish a few things? No. Did he finish everything? Yes. Second Corinthians. Five twenty-one. For he has. I hope this scripture can be engraved in your hearts. For he has made him. So who? Look, who made? Who made him? God made Christ to be what? Sin. And it is the same God who has made you to be righteous. So, so don't think it's your own righteousness.